our video tutorial is about rates of change. Let us solve this problem. Suppose you are blowing a spherical bubble, filling it with air at a uniform rate of 400 cubic millimeters per second. How fast is the radius of the bubble increasing by the time it is already 20 millimeters long? Suppose this is our spherical bubble with radius r, then its volume formula is equal to 4 third pi r cube. The uh, rate of increase of the volume of the bubble is 400 cubic millimeters per second. It is asking for the rate of change of the radius by the time its radius is 20 millimeters long. So first we have to de de uh, get the derivative of b with respect to time. So its derivative of the of the volume with respect to time is 4 third pi times 3 r square times dr dt because r is changing with time. Simplify this equation and substitute the rate of change of the volume which is 400 and r is 20 millimeters. Simplify, cancel out common factor and solve for dr dt. In decimal, it is equal to 0 0.08 millimeters per second. So it is changing at this rate. The radius is changing at this rate for uh, 0 0.08 millimeters per second. Next, a stone is dropped on a steel pan. Thus creating circular ripples concentric at the point of impact of the stone with the surface of the pan. By the time the radius of the circular region bounded by the ripple is 50 centimeters, the area of this region is already increasing at a rate of 200 square centimeters per second. At this time, how fast is the radius increasing? So, supposing this is our circular ripple produced by the impact of the stone on the surface and the radius is increasing due to the increase of the area, the formula of the circle is pi r square. Then, by the time the radius is 50 centimeters long, its area is increasing by 200 square centimeters per second. It is asking for the rate of change of the radius. So get the derivative of the area with respect to time. So this is pi times 2r times dr dt. Then substitute the rate of change of the area is 100 and r is 50 simplify cancel out common factor then solve for dr dt so in decimal the rate of change of the radius is equal to 0.64 centimeters per second next Phineas is driving toward an intersection at a rate of 30 kilometers per hour while along the perpendicular road to the intersection, Perb drives away from the intersection at a rate of 50 km per hour. When Pinas was already 4 km from the intersection, Perb was already 3 km from it. Exact instant. How fast is the distance between the two changing? Are they getting closer or getting farther from each other at this instant? Now, suppose this is our the point of intersection. And Pinas is moving toward the intersection, intersection, and Perb was moving away from the intersection, and Perb was rather Pinas is moving toward the intersection at the rate of thirty kilometers per hour. This is negative because the distance is decreasing, while Perb is moving away with fifty kilometers per hour. This is positive because the distance is increasing. So it is asking the rate of change of the distance between them. Okay. So this is the triangle that is formed out of the problem. <coughs> we may solve for the We will solve for the uh, of S. So substituting in this formula of the Pythagorean theorem, P is 4, F is 3. So simplify, S is 5 kilometers. Okay, next, 
we will get the derivative of this equation with respect to time because h of the 3 is changing with time. So that is 2s ds dt. Then simplify by dividing common factors. Then substitute the value. S is 5. P is 4. DP, DT is negative 30. Then simplify. Combine similar terms. Solve for DS, DT. So they are separating at the rate of 6 kilometers per hour. Their distance is increasing. Next, an inverted conical tank with base radius 6 cm and height 18 cm is being filled up with water at the rate of 24 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the water rising at the instant when the water is 6 cm high? Supposing this is a conical tank with radius 6 cm and height is, height is 18 is filled with water at this rate 24 cubic centimeters per minute it is asking for the rate of change of the height of the water so from similar triangles We have here similar triangles, R over 6 equals H over 18. So corresponding sides of similar triangles. Solving for R with respect to H, in, or solving for R in terms of H, and the volume of the cone is one third by R squared H, Uh, transforming this equation of the volume in terms of one unknown, substitute R with this value and simplify. So this is now our equation of the volume in terms of the height h. Differentiating the volume with respect to time. So this is 3 h squared times dh dt because the height is changing with time. Then substituting the rate of change of the volume and the height is 6 simplify cancel out common factor then solve for dh dt so the it's the rate of change of the height with respect to time is 1.91 centimeters per minute next your beloved friend is living on a jet plane and you do not know when she, he, she will be back again. As the plane flies forward at 300 miles per hour at a steady altitude of 4,000 feet above your head, your eyes are fixed on the plane. With your head thus turning as the plane and your friend gain more distance away from you. By the time the plane is 8,000 feet away from you, actually away from your head, how fast is its angle of elevation at your eyes shrinking? So converting mile to feet. So this is our uh, diagram for the situation. So this is the eyes, uh, line of sight of the eye towards the plane. And this is the angle of elevation. In uh, the triangle form out of this figure is this one. Out of the problem, distance between the eye to the plane is 1,000 feet. This is the height of the plane moving at an altitude of 4,000 feet. The uh, velocity of the plane is uh, dx dt, 300 miles per hour. Converting 300 miles per hour into feet per second 
So it is 440 feet per second. Next. Let us solve for x at that instant when the distance between the eye and the plane is 8,000 feet at a, with a constant altitude of 4,000 feet. x can be solved from this equation using the Pythagorean theorem. So, extracting the square root on both sides. So, x is equal to 4,000 square root of 3 feet. Then at that instant, let us solve for this angle of elevation of the plane. So our function is sine of angle theta equals opposite over adjacent, 4000, rather opposite over hypotenuse, definition of sine theta, opposite over hypotenuse. So 4000 over 8000 reduced is equal to 1 half. Then let us determine the angle. So, ang the angle theta is equal to inverse of sine of 1 half. We have here uh, this uh, common values of trigonometric functions. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. So, the angle is 30 degrees. So, this angle is 30 degrees. Next, we have another function to get the derivative of theta with respect to time. We have tangent which is equal to 4000 over x. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So let us get the derivative of tan this equation with respect to time. Derivative of tangent is secant squared x. And the derivative of the fraction uh, following this uh, quotient rule of the derivative. This is ux and bx. So derivative of tangent theta is uh, secant squared theta times d theta theta with respect to time because theta the angle is changing. so the derivative of this fraction following this uh, uh, quotient rule of the we have here the square of the denominator so square of x x square derivative of the numerator the derivative of constant is zero so this this term is zero minus the numerator which is 400 uh, 4, times the derivative of the denominator derivative of x is dx dt so simplify solve for d, d theta dt uh, the secant squared theta becomes divisor at the right side. Then dx dt is equal to 440. Secant theta is 30 degrees. So secant 1 over secant 30, 30 square. Simplify. Okay. The inverse of secant 30 degrees is cosine 30 degrees square. Get the inverse of this. And cosine 30 degrees is from our uh, common value. Cosine of 30 degrees is square over 2. Square. Simplify the right side of the equation we square this one so this is 4 and this is 3 then common factor rather multiply all numerators and di divide by the denominators the rate of change of the angle theta with respect to time is negative point zero to seven five region per second in convert this into degrees per second Multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So it is equal to negative 1.6 degrees per second. So the angle of elevation 
is decreasing at the rate of negative 1.6 degrees per second. Next, Celine, who is 1.6 meters tall, walks away at a uniform rate of 1.10 meters per second from a 6 meters high lamp post. At what rates at which her shadow lengthening and the tip of her shadow moving? Okay, supposing this is the lamp post and this is Celine walking away from the lamp post. The height of the lamp is 6 meter. He is, she is moving away at this rate, 1.10 meters per second. Her height is 1.6 meters. So this is the triangle form. So this is X and this is Y. The whole length is G. Next, from similar triangles, the similar triangles here is these triangles triangles are similar we can get the ratio x over 4.4 .4 equals y over 1.6 because they are similar triangles so solving for a simplified equation and solving for y in terms of x so this is our equation and get the derivative of y with respect to time and Derivative of x with respect to time. Substitute uh, dx dt. This length is changing because it, it, this is the speed of cylinder. So this is dx dt. Substitute in the formula. Simplify. So dy dt. This length of the shadow is lengthening or changing at the rate of 0.4 meters per second. Next, the length of the total length G is equal to the length of X plus Y. These three variables are changing with time. So differentiate each of the three with respect to time. Then dx dt is 1.1 meters per second, dy dt is 0.4 meters per second. Substitute. So, this length of the, the tip of the shadow is moving at this speed 1.5 meters per second. Next, the upper end of a ladder, 5 meters long, lanes against a vertical wall. Suppose the foot of the ladder slips away from the wall at the rate of 0.1 meter per minute. Letter A. How fast is the top of the ladder descending when its foot is 3 meters from the wall? Supposing this is the ladder leaning against the wall. The wall uh, the ladder is 5 meters long. So this side is y, this length is x. This is the angle theta. But the ladder we mix with the ground. So, letter A. Oh, in the problem, the foot of the ladder slips away, moving to the left at 0.1 meter per minute. Letter A. How fast is the top of the ladder descending when its foot is? Three meters from the wall. So from the Pythagorean theorem, from this right triangle, the Pythagorean Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals five squared. Solving for y in terms of x, so what is this square root of twenty five minus x square? Then let us uh, simplify. Okay. So, let us get the derivative of y with respect to t. We have here a formula for the derivative of a function involving square root, since y involves square root. This is the derivative by the chain rule du dx. So, this is our derivative of y with respect to time. We have here 2 
times square root of u, our u is 25 minus, minus x square times the derivative of u. Okay, derivative of 25 minus x square is negative. Uh, derivative of 25 is 0, so this is negative 2x times dx dt since x is changing with time. Then cancel out common factor. Then substitute the value of x and dx dt. x is 3. dx dt is uh, this 1.1 meter per minute. Simplify. So the rate of y, uh, the, the top of the ladder is descending at the rate of negative 0 0.075 meter per minute. It is negative because it is moving down. Next, when will the top and bottom of the ladder move at the same rate? So as the ladder moves downward, slips down, dy, uh, dy uh, y is changing with time, x is changing with time also. So when will the top and bottom of the ladder move at the same rate? So since the top and bottom moving at the same rate, so this length y is changing with time, this length x is changing with time also, they must be equal because they are changing with the same rate. So from the equation, from the previous equation of the der derivative of y, dx dt, rather, dy dt must be equal to dx dt. So we can substitute dy dt with dx dt because they are equal. So from this equation, multiply the whole equation with uh, 1 over dx dt. So that dx dt will be cancelled. So this is the simplified form. And cross multiply. Then square both sides of the equation so that we can eliminate the square root symbol. Then simplify and solve for x. Extracting the square root on both sides. So x is equal to 3.54 meters. In other words, uh, the speed of the top and bottom of the ladder moving when the distance from the wall is 3.54 meters. So it is more than 0.54 meters from the starting point, which is 3 meters. Okay, next, you see, when is the top of the ladder descending at the rate of 0.15 meters? per minute. So this top of the ladder is descending, moving down at this rate. So in other words, this length y is changing with time, which is negative 0.15 meter per minute. It is negative because it is, the distance is decreasing. So pr previously, we have, this, we have this equation, cancelling out 2. So substitute dy dt with negative 15. And dx dt is 0.1. Simplify the equation, cross multiply. And square both sides of the equation to eliminate the square root symbol. Simplify, dividing both sides by 0.01. Then distribute 2.25 minutes of the term. Then solve for x square. Then extract the square root on both sides. So x is equal to 4.16 meters. In other words, the distance from the wall to the bottom of the ladder must be 4.16 meters so that the top portion of the ladder is moving down at this rate of negative 0.15 meter per minute. Next, let us see. How fast is the angle theta at the foot of the ladder decreasing when the foot is 3 meters from the wall? So, as this, the bottom of the ladder slips away from the wall, the, this angle theta is changing, decreasing. So, at this instant, 
Our equation by the Pythagorean theorem is x square plus y square equals 5 square. Then solving for y in terms of x, then we have here the function tangent of angle theta equals y over x because we are ask, uh, it is asking for the rate of change of the angle theta so we have this function tangent of angle theta yes, replacing y with this value so we express tangent theta in terms of x alone get the derivative of tangent theta or solve for angle theta angle theta is arc tan inverse of tangent of this fraction <clears throat> take note that the derivative of arc tangent u is equal to u prime over 1 plus u square derivative of inverse trigonometric function next get the derivative of this equation with respect to time uh, since our u here is a uh, fraction we have here the quotient rule so this is the quotient rule and the numerator involves square root. So this is our derivative of square root. So let us do it. Derivative of theta with respect to time. So following the derivative of arc tangent, 1 plus u square. So 1 plus our u is this function is square. <coughs> our, our numerator is derivative of u. This is the whole fraction which is the u its derivative is the denominator b of x x so this is x times the derivative of the numerator this is our numerator which involves square root this is the derivative of the square root so this is our 2 times square root of u so 2 times square root of 25 minus x square and derivative of u derivative of 25 minus x square is negative 2x times dx dt because it's changing with time minus here is minus the numerator it's numerator times the derivative of the denominator our denominator is x so derivative of x is dx dt because x is changing with time all over square of the denominator this denominator is square x square so simplify, cancel out. <clears throat> we have here fraction and this whole numerator should be expressed as a single fraction. So in other words, multiply square root of this radican times this square root of this radican so no more square root symbol this is the LCD then simplify we can now substitute the value of these variables our x is 3 the x dt is 0.1 Okay, substitute. Just substitute the value of x here. Then, continue simplifying the complex fraction starting with this new uh, numerator. So, this is 9 times 0.1 is negative 0.9. This is 9 minus uh, 25 minus 9 is 16 times 0.1. This is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. 3 is square. This is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16 over 9. 
Okay, simplify further. Okay, 16 times 21 is 1.6 over square root of 16 is 4 over 9. Uh, in single fraction, this is the result. Then this is combined this numerator over 9. This one, 9 plus 16 is 25 over 9. Uh, negative 2.5 divided by 4 is this no, decimal. Uh, this one, divide, you divide. This is the uh, quotient. 25 over 9 is this 2.7778. Then divide. So the rate of change of angle theta with respect to time is 0 0.025 region per minute. In Convert this into degrees per minute. Multiply this with 180 degrees over pi. Then it's converted to 1.43 degrees per minute. So that's enough.